The Juno Awards, honoring the best in Canadian music, are handed out this weekend, and one of the most coveted prizes will be Album of the Year. But in an age where fans can pick and choose which single song they want, does this honor still mean as much? Deanna Suminik Johnston has that story. At the Junos on Sunday night, the biggest honor is reserved for Album of the Year. Host Jacob Hogarth and his band Headley are going up against Nickelback and Bobby Bazzini, all nominated for top selling albums in a year that sure hasn't seen many. In Canada and internationally, music fans have been increasingly foregoing whole albums in favor of individual songs. The album as a format is by and large dead. In the U.S., where an album needs to sell a million units to attain platinum status, only three albums released last year pulled off that feat. In the year before, there were 13 platinum albums, and back in the heyday of the CD in 1994, 38. Musicians themselves might have started the decline, says this music critic. So album lengths went from 40 minutes to about 70 minutes. Um, the problem was that that extra half an hour wasn't very good and people were forced to pay $25 when they only wanted one or two songs. As soon as technology allowed it through digital downloads or streaming, that was what fans chose. Joshua Ostroff predicts some musicians will still continue putting out albums for promotion and as an excuse to go out on tour. I just gotta come home. And there will still be a demand to hear albums by superstar artists. Drake and Beyonce both released surprise albums without pre-released singles, forcing fans to check out all the songs on their albums. Still, most artists have to accept they'll only be releasing one single after another. I feel like there's still a story to be told with an album, but not everyone wants to hear it. So there is definitely an opening to revisualize what it is to what the length of the story should be. Jacob Hogart hopes the album will survive, even if it speaks to a smaller number of fans. People that listen to music appreciate it, and people that appreciate it can understand that there is a broader picture there, and an album is part of that broader picture. But some feel it's too late to turn back the clock. Change is happening, and you know the awards might be it might be a bigger deal to win an album of the year award, but it won't be forever. If we stomp our feet, the ground and in a way, that would be a return to pop music's past when singles, not albums, were the favorite format. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.